What's included with the LAPR100 rotating laser is the laser itself, a receiver, a bracket for the receiver to hold it on the grade rod, and a hard case. My goal today is to show you how simple it is to check a foundation for level. You can see the foundation behind me here. Nice big house going up here. Last thing we want is this foundation to be out of level. I can't take for granted that the concrete contractor made this foundation level. I need to check it. The old way to do it when checking a foundation for level was to use an, an optical transit. We'd set up a tripod a, a lot like this and we'd put an optical transit on there. The problem with an optical transit is you have to level it. It has a bubble and you have to keep maneuvering it around until the bubble stays in the middle at all times. The problem is if somebody kicks the tripod it knocks the level out of level. Now the modern way of doing it is with a laser. This is Stabila's LAPR100. What that means is it's an automatic leveling laser, and it does it through what we call a pendulum, and that's why it's LAPR. So all I simply do is put the laser on top of the tripod, clamp it down tight so it doesn't fall off. Now when I work with a laser, what I, what I like to do is I'll be walking on top of the foundation here, and I want the laser to be within my strike zone between my shoulders and my knees. It'll just be easier to work with with our grade rod. So what I do, I loosen up the tripod, and I raise the, the laser up to what I think will be right in the middle. Clamp the legs. And now with this laser, what's great about this one is how simple it is to run. And that's why we consider it our residential concrete uh, rotating laser. On the side here is a little switch. And what this is, it's the on-off switch, but it's also the, a clamp that clamps to all the guts on the inside of this laser when it's in the off position. So when it's rattling around the back of my pickup truck on the way to the job site, it doesn't get damaged. So I simply just turn that on, and there's a bubble up on top of the laser here. All I want to do, is you can see when it's crooked, I want to just level it with my hands real quick. I'm close enough, I hit the button on rotate, and this laser is ready to go. There's no leveling involved. So what I would do then, in this situation, is I would loosen my clamp here, and you can see these steel bars we have here. This is a protective cage, but it's also an elevator. Now I'm going to put the laser up above the bars so that I don't have any blockage of the beam with these bars here. So now I'm ready to go. Next thing I would do is I grab my grade rod, and I'm going to show you that we're going to, we're going to find a high spot on the foundation. So as you can see, outside, you can't see a laser light in a bright light. So what we use is we use a receiver. And our receiver can see the laser even, even when you can't. So we have my, our receiver on the, uh, on the bracket already, and I'm going to mount to the uh, grade rod. Now you can see I'm mounting my receiver here in the middle of the grade rod. The reason is, on our grade rod, zero is in the middle. Zero is not on the bottom. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to the, to the first corner on the foundation and start checking for the high spot. So I climb up on the foundation and I always bolt down my sill plate first and I'll walk around and I'll check my sill plate for level. And then if necessary, we'll put shims underneath the sill plate to bring it up so that the top of our sill plate is level throughout the whole foundation. So the next thing I do is I'm going to loosen this bottom clamp here and extend the grade rod until I get an even tone on the receiver. Now you can see, because of the position of the laser, when we extended the legs up, I've gotten this receiver in my strike zone that I was telling you about, right? So even tone means that the receiver and zero on this grade rod are even with that laser. So the next thing I do is I just go to the next corner. So I go to the next corner here, and then instead of adjusting this bottom clamp, I adjust this. When I get my receiver to give me an even tone, right there, it's mar it, the receiver clamp is marking 3 eighths of an inch low, because I have a negative. So I simply just mark 3 eighths on the sill plate, and then I know to come back to it later and move it up 3 eighths of an inch. 
So then what I do is I do the same process here. I'm gonna move the receiver up and down until I get an even tone, and it'll tell me if I'm, if I'm high or low. So this area here is telling me I'm only an eighth of an inch low. That's not bad. So I'll mark eighth of an inch anyways, and bring it up later. Then I move on to the next corner. What I did is I walked around the entire foundation and I checked every corner and every four feet. And I marked down there how high it needs to come up or how, or how far it needs to go down. So now we can simply go back through the foundation, shim it up level, and we're done. And it, looked, it took less than 10 minutes to do it. I want to show you another application with the LAPR. This is a laser that we used outside on, re on a residential site earlier. This laser also does plumb level and square. All we do is flip the laser on. We're going to rock it into place to get it close. Hit the rotation button, and it's level. Now this laser also does plumb. We flip the head over, flip the mirror over, and if this laser is spinning, it's plumb. Next thing I do is I move it into, into position. What I want to do is I want to center that laser beam on the chalk line. Now I can take my receiver that we used outside on a grade rod and I can place it on a chalk line with this black line. So I just bend over, pivot my laser until I get an even tone. Now I'm lined up on my chalk line, I'm ready to build my wall. Now that I have the laser lined up on this chalk line, I can use the beam that's coming out of the top of the laser to establish square off of my chalk line here. So I just take a speed square that I always have in my pouch, slide it in front of the laser until I split the beam. Now I'll just make a mark on the floor and move down the line. Put the square on the floor. Slide it into place till I split the beam. Make another mark. Snap those two marks together and I have square.